Hello everybody, my name is Jesse Mwai. You are watching Sitam Church Online and I'm a pastor with Crisis Yansa Ministries currently stationed in Woodley in Nairobi. I want to thank you for catching up with us and, uh, and watching probably the, the previous episodes that we've heard, especially as we've been talking about the pursuit of meaning. With us is Wongel. Wongel comes to us from Addis Ababa in Ethiopia, a young, vibrant lady who is passionate about transformation, and especially transformation of Africa, transforming the world, and also transformation of people and people's lives. We've been talking about and having a vibrant conversation on the pursuit of meaning, and today we want to bring that conversation to a climax. We want to maybe just tie it all together. Maybe you're there, you've been asking, how do I find that mm -hmm. meaning that you have been so clearly articulating? Wangel, how do I find that meaning? Um, <laughs> well, to be honest, it's, it's really not that complicated or that hard. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a matter of um, seeking it. Mm -hmm. And I would say first it starts with knowing ourselves. Um, accepting ourselves the way God has made us because it says we're fearfully and wonderfully ma made. So acknowledging the fact that we're made in the image of God and God has taken time designing us like me as Wangil, he's designed everything and first accepting that, accepting ourselves um, is I think where, where it begins, understanding that we're loved by God and, um, and, and if we're loved then what more do we want? So we start from that place of being secure um, in ourselves that knowing if nothing else you know comes it's fine it's not the end of the world if i don't even do anything with my life if i end up on the streets it's fine god still loves me you know i'm still fine so operating from that i think place of security and and being so sure of who we are is is i think the basis mm -hmm. um and then next would be um figuring out our our passions, our, mm. our talents, our gifts, because God has given everybody different gifts and he has made us in such unique ways so that we can achieve different things. Um, and, and just trying, figuring out, okay, what is it that makes our baby jump? You know, what is it that, mm. that excites us? What are we good at? Um, or what can we cultivate to be good at, or to be better at? Not necessarily what is, you know, what are we the experts at mm. or this, but what are we passionate about? I think figuring that out. Um, and then thirdly is understanding the Great Commission because as Christians that's the big vision has been written down, <laughs> you know. It's spreading the gospel and discipling nations and furthering the kingdom of God. And that's why we're saved and still on the earth because there's a lot to do. Um, there are systems um, and, and, you know, um, principalities in the world that need to be discipled, that need to be redeemed uh, for God. So in whether we're going to be in, you know, in a scientist or a journalist or, you know, a doctor or um, anything, we need to be able to plug that into the Great Commission. Mm -hmm. How are we able to further the kingdom of God and everything that we're doing? And, and I think that's it. The rest, God, God makes it happen. Yeah. You know, God, God okay. pushes you forward. It sounds so. very simple. Yeah. Um, and especially I like that, um, that point where you say that we have a shared vision and which is already written for us. So mine is not really to try to figure out yeah. any other vision, but just to plug it into this vision. And the vision is the Great Commission, in Matthew yeah. chapter 28, to go out and make disciples. Mm. Uh, so that it doesn't matter who I am, it doesn't matter how gift, what, what area of my gifting is, mm. or my education is, I must plug in into this vision. Yeah. And ask myself, and of course ask God, how does my career, how does my passion, how does it tie in mm. with the Great Commission? Mm. How, how, how are you going to use it yeah. to win the world to you, to draw mm. the world closer to you? And yeah. I think I like that. Yeah. We are at a season, of course, where coming to the almost the end of the year, we have a lot of young people who mm. are currently um, sitting exams, getting ready to join mm. colleges next year, universities next year. Uh, usually the great time of anxiety for the young people and also for the parents. Mm. Right and um, but at the end of the uh, at the end of it all, I think it's all about the pursuit of meaning. What would you? What would be that parting shot? What would you tell that young man, that young lady, or that parent, for mm. example, who uh, is anxious about their child? They're just about to sit the exams. You're not sure how it's going to turn mm. out and all. What What would you tell them? Mm. Well, first of all, I would say. Um, 
just remember, you know, to remember their security in God. That um, to remember the world doesn't hinge on it. You know, it's okay. It's not the end of the world um, because it's important to, to, I think, to operate from that place of certainty. It will be okay because my life is is in God's hands. Uh, you know, and then and then second, um, I would say it's important to make sure that we are. Um, we know where we're going. You know, we're not um, just going to take these exams and then go into university because that's what we're supposed to do, mm -hmm. but because we, we're pursuing something. You know, mm -hmm. we have a vision, we have a purpose, and that's going to get us closer to it. You know, mm -hmm. let's not just follow the trend because even I remember when I was, I think, 10th grade, going into 11th grade, and in Ethiopia, you get to pick between social sciences and natural sciences. And I was very confused as to which way do I go. And I had, I had good grades in school, so the normally, if, you, if you're smart, you go into the natural sciences. Mm -hmm. That's how it is, you know, study physics, chemistry, mm -hmm. biology. And, and that's how I thought, too. You know, I was like, hey, I'm smart. I'm not stupid. I'm not going to choose, mm -hmm. you know, social sciences. But um, I really had to, thank God, there was summer camp. I had to pray a lot, um, lots of even discussions with my brothers. They were like, they were challenging me. But what do you want to do with your life? It's not about, oh, I studied chemistry. Mm -hmm. but um, what do you want to do? And when I sat down, when I was being honest with myself, I said, you know, I'm not going <laughs> to join the, the natural sciences and end up going into journalism and everything. And that was the best decision I ever made because, uh, I mean, I have lots of friends who chose the other one for the wrong reasons and they're still in school. They're not even happy. They're going to, they just want to get that certificate and then uh, do do something else with their lives. And now they're saying, you know, Angel, we made fun of you then, but you know, you made the right choice in pursuing what you wanted. Mm -hmm. So I think it's important to, to know why we're doing something. And in that way, we can even be good at it. Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah. Great thoughts there. Thank you, Wangel. We really appreciated your time. Thank you, Pastor. Um, and just sharing your heart with us. And I think for those of us who have been plugging in, I think never forget, I think mm -hmm. those words of wisdom that for you to find that meaning in life it's so important for you to find that meaning for yourself. Nobody can find it for you. And I think you've given us just three things, very, very simple things. The first one is just be yourself. There's a way God created you and designed you. You're actually a designer product. Yeah. You know, you're not just a run of the mill kind yeah. of a person. God made you specifically, uniquely you. The second thing is find your passion. Yeah. Every one of us is gifted one way or the other. Mm -hmm. I'm good at something. Uh, you're good at something. Everybody's good at something. All right, and find that passion, those things that really make you tick. Mm. And then finally, let's all plug in and align ourselves to our shared vision. Thank you so much. Thank we you, really, really Josh. appreciate and we look forward to having you yet again on Sitam Church Online. Thank you for joining us here in Sitam Church Online. And um, we want to again just to encourage you, if you still do not have a relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ, everything we've been saying here is important. But the journey really, really begins at the foot of the cross of Jesus Christ. Surrender your life to him, and we encourage you to do that. If you need help, please get in touch with us. There are numbers that you can be able to call that will be presented to you as you watch this video. Plug in with us. Talk to us. Somebody will be there to hear you, and somebody will be there to respond to your queries. God bless you.